guys, thanks for joining me for another bike parts video. Today I wanted to talk about the wheels and tires that I'm putting on my Dyna behind me. These are the Arlen Ness Pro Cross wheels. You can get them in contrast, you can get them in chrome. They are CNC machined from uh, billet aluminum and the hubs bolt on to the rims so there's a ton of different fitment that you can get. Give you an example, my front wheel is a little bit different. The Fat Bobs came with a wide glide front end, but they are a dual disc wheel. So it's kind of a strange setup. But anyways, because you're able to pick the wheel that you like and then just accessorize the hub, depending on your fitment, you can, you can fit a lot of different bikes. This is a non ABS setup. So what I wanted to do today was throw these things on the scale, see what they weigh compared to say like some BST carbons, which everybody loves, but I didn't really want to spend all that extra money. And I thought because these are a uh, Ford, uh, because these are CNC machine from Billet, I thought that they would be a lightweight alternative. So let's pull out the scale and see how lightweight they actually are. So we're going to be doing some very official science with my bathroom scale. So I did a little bit of sleuthing before I made this video and I uh, found out on the BST website, the front wheel from BST I looked at the uh, the FLH wheel because it's going to do a dual disc setup, which this hub is a dual disc hub. So I wanted to try to keep it apples to apples. So I looked up a FLH 21 three and a half, which is what this is. It's a 21 three and a half. So the BST website says that their 21 three and a half dual disc uh, front hub comes in at about with bearings at about 11.3 pounds, and then. The tire, the Cruise Tech tire, is going to weigh 12 pounds. So the combined BST front wheel and tire is going to give you a package that's around 23 pounds, 23.3. So let's see where the Cru the uh, Cruise Tech and the uh, Pro Cross from Arlen Ness come in at. Our goal is 23 pounds. And this guy tips the scales at 33.8. So at 33 pounds, that's about 10 pounds heavier. So for 10 pounds and saving a whole lot of money, I'm not displeased. 10 pounds on the wheel, we all know that actually is quite a bit because of the unsprung weight. But versus the stock wheels that came on the Fat Bob, which were those 16 inch blocks, these things are a relatively lightweight option. I'm not displeased at all at 33 pounds with the complete front wheel bearings. I mean, this thing's done. The only thing I have to do is bolt on the rotors. So 33 pounds for the Procross 21, three and a half. Let's go do the rears now. So to keep the comparison going, I went on BST's website and I was able to find a Fat Bob rear wheel it, uh, the combo that I'm using is an 18 five and a half. So a BST 18 five and a half with bearings is going to come in at about 10.4, 10.5 pounds. And then the Cruise Tech tire is going to come in at 22.4. So a BST wheel Cruise Tech tire combo is going to come in at 32.8 pounds. So 32.8 is our goal to beat. We're not going to, but let's see how close we get. 32.8. This guy is going to come in at 41.8. So that's about nine pounds heavier. So the front is about 10 pounds heavier than a BST combo, and the rear is about nine pounds heavier than a BST combo. So Hey, you, you know, we just, we gained 20 pounds. I do not have the factory wheels anymore. I gave those away. So unfortunately I can't even weigh the stock ones. If you have a set of stock Fat Bob wheels, throw them on a scale and, and give a message down below. Uh, let me know how much the stock ones weigh in. I'm going to guess they're probably 10 to 20 pounds heavier than each one of these. So anyways, that's my video today talking about the Arlen Ness Pro Cross wheels. They are CNC machined. The price point on them is very aggressive for the high quality. You can see these things are just really well made. 
They are uh, obviously set up to be tubeless, um, full DOT, uh, just a gorgeous wheel, contrast or chrome. Head to your local bike shop, pick up a set. Thanks. See you next time. Thank you.